Well guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Hearttongue Family Farms. And today, I'm on the farm right now. It's September 25th, and we're gonna actually start grinding some feed. I'm not sure what's in store for today, but uh, I think I got a cool, special treat for you guys. So stay tuned for sure, and let's see what we can get into today. What? I'll be here for dinner. Yeah, I figured uh, when I seen you, I'm gonna watch the inside of the windows. Okay, 2588, still getting worked on. My Uncle Bun is going to be coming up here today, hopefully to potentially finish this. We'll see. I haven't really talked to him and see what's been the issue with it or what they have left to fix. But I know in the 7088, we just got to put augers back in. The lining is in and that thing's just about ready to roll. So, hi Bella. We're going to head over next door, we'll bring a tractor off the auger and then set it up to the grinder. Hi puppy. Hi puppy. Hi puppy. I'm just unhooking this tractor right now, this auger, because I need this tractor to grind feed. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to start it up. My dad's actually going to pull an ear. This is Jerry's first field we planted, and we're kind of curious to see. Oh, there's a lot of manure on this. Kind of curious to see if it's black lettered or not. At least I am. Let's start this thing up. <laughs> There's 36 in length, but I'm guessing 16 around, 18, 18 around. Now we'll look and see if it's black layered. It's just starting to black layer. You kind of see a little bit of black just there starting to form. So it'll black layer tomorrow, tomorrow or the next day. So this could, probably could be chopped whenever he wants it to be. So I got the grinder hooked up right now. Please is hauling grain. My great uncle Bun is gonna start working on one of the combines. Pat and I, Pat, my dad and I are gonna grind for cattle feed and then not sure what else. So here's the plan guys. So we're gonna grind feed for our hired hand, Brian. He needs feed for his cows back home. So we're gonna do that. That's his wagon. We're gonna grind it, actually put corn into there and then put it into the grinder, grind the corn up. Then I'll add the rest of the mixture we have dump that back into his wagon so he can take that home. And we're gonna do the same thing for uh, my dad's and my cows and Pat's cows up in Bellevue. Now we're gonna see if I can back this wagon up. I'm doubting myself. Hey, I'm proud of myself, I did it. Sweet. This is a JM wagon, it holds it's 250 bushel wagon, 250-7. Pretty neat, made in Fort Recovery, Ohio. Loading. About halfway, I think it's good. Yeah, that's probably good. You changed the screen yet? No, I haven't. What we're doing, guys, we're using a grinder. So what this grinder does is it takes corn or whatever we want to grind, augers it up into it, and there's basically a mill that goes against a screen. This Pat just took out right there, and it basically grinds it up and sticks it in the sticks it in the, the actual tank of it. And He's recircling it and gets a nice ground thing of feed. It's got a scale on it. It's got different screens. It can do everything from chicken feed, pig feed, uh, cattle feed, whatever you want. We use it for mainly, actually all three. straight shell corn in there for a little bit and he's got a scale in the back and he'll shut it off when we want it to we're a full he just put the screen back in now we'll start it back up now we'll fire it back up Tell 
into the hammer mill, I'm just gonna call it. I'm not sure if that's exactly what it is, but it grinds the corn and forces it through a screen, which really grinds it up, and then dumps it up to the top, and then it, the material is constantly getting recirculated and added into that hammer mill, so it's got about half new corn, half um, already ground up mixture, so it ensures an even mix. It's actually a really nice system for being designed in the 90s. It's all PTO driven. It's got an internal pump on there, which runs all the hydraulics and valve blocks. It's a really good design for, like I said, being almost 30 years old. So this is actually my dad's stuff. So we're gonna use the grinder, put it into the Ford L8000, I believe, with the feed mill. It's got, got our bean mill truck is what we call it. We, we mainly have it to deliver a bean mill, but it's nice for delivering feed like this. So it's a Ford 8000. More than likely, yours truly is gonna be able to drive it. So I lied, we're actually gonna use some of the pellets that we have in here. We're actually gonna mix it in with the feed. So that's where we have the bean mill truck. I'll go down and show you. Bean mill truck's dumping in the grinder. And the grinder is mixing it up. This is what happens, it's basically a melted carpet. Below the, each one of these hoppers, you just open the hopper up, dump it back here into a transfer auger, into that auger, hit out that auger. It's actually a really nice system. It's still stuck, there's a lot of it. That's what it looks like. This thing will be full by the time we're done. Sweet. So here's what we got in here, guys. You saw us throw straight corn in there, then ground up corn, then pellets. So it's a good mixture of some whole kernels, a lot of ground up and shreds of corn, and then some kind of halfway shredded pellets that just got ground up from the augers that are in here. So it's a good feed mixture. We wish we had some uh, ground ear corn in there, but hey, it'll work. It's pretty powdery, but. It'll be good feed. Very good feed. Threw a little bit of hay in Brian's mixture. So this batch we're mixing up is for Brian Federson, a hired hand. Last load that we're dumping in. thing holds three tons, it's like May 33, three tons, 6,000 pounds. And we'll dump it onto this wagon so Brian can take it back to his cattle. All done. Let's go and hook this thing. Sweet. If you guys have been on my channel a lot, you're probably wondering why am I at the gas tank with this thing? Uh, 706 tractor. Well, it's actually a gas engine, so not bad. Alrighty, guys, so it's grubber dub dub time. Seven's unhooked. Uh, I'll pull it out of the way. It's probably gonna go back on the auger that I that it was on this morning. Just switched Cletus' trucks over. Bun's still working on the combine. Bun, where'd you get your hat at, by the way? Where'd you get your hat? What did I do it at? Where'd you get it? It's a cool hat. My grandson got it, gave it to me for Christmas. Just this past year? Well, yeah. Really? 
I I really shouldn't be wearing it for every day, but I did. <laughs> it's, it's a cool nice. hat. No, that you don't find very many. No, like no, you don't. That's pretty cool. Yeah, there. there you go. Thanks, bun. His grandson got it. Ah, right, let's go eat. Alrighty, guys. So, time to head up to Bellevue. I'm gonna split this video up at some point. I do know that because I have a lot of footage. So we'll do that intro, intro outro right now. We'll go through it whenever. Oh, smells great in here. Smells like rat poop. Whew. Even a set trap in there. So we'll fire this thing up. Oh, there we go. Fire this thing up and then we'll head head to Bellevue. I'll unload some bean I'll load some feet up there. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you guys did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Hartung Family Farms. And, of course, guys, as always, ta-ta for...